Module 2, Understanding the Operation of Flood S Tool. Introduction to Flood S Tool. Flood is a natural phenomenon on which it commonly occurs in vulnerable areas on that several individuals may at risk. Yet nowadays, the changing climate brings intense, abrupt, high-frequency rains that result in flash floods. There is a need for a reliable tool that can plan this adaptation to climate change with combat and establish necessary measures in the case of a deadly flooding. Thus, the Flood S tool was developed towards this purpose. This second module of this e-learning series will generally aim to introduce the operation of the Flood S tool that can help the local community in establishing resilient response in the occurrence of a deadly flooding. Specifically, it aims to, one, briefly introduce the web tool and its purpose, two, discuss the interface and functionality of the Flood S tool, three, discuss the viewer mode and its purpose and functionality, four, discuss the simulator, its purpose and the functionality, and how to unlock the tool's features. Five, discuss the different case scenarios that were simulated using the web tool. Flood S, a scientific tool for global adaptation, is an online tool for government bodies and other interested individuals and organizations used to assist in establishing adaptation and mitigation measures to flood events. The system simulates the water levels and the flow conditions, as well as the proposed countermeasures to provide quantitative data for the evaluation of cities' mitigation strategies for potential flooded areas and determine flood water depth. Flood S is currently available for free and can be accessed directly from web browser. The simulations are performed using preloaded topographic data on a state-of-the-art cloud database infrastructure, making it easily accessible for users without the need for expensive hardware or conducting labor-intensive surveys. Flood S is an online tool designed specifically for government bodies to assist in mitigating flood damage. This tool is capable of simulating water levels and flow conditions, as well as evaluating proposed countermeasures. By providing quantitative data, Flood S supports decision-making processes when it comes to assessing potential flooded areas and determining flood water depth. The tool is accessible for free through web browsers and utilizes a state-of-the-art cloud-based infrastructure which eliminates the need for expensive hardware or labor-intensive surveys. The Development of the Flood S Tool and its Interface Flood S is funded by the Ministry of Environment of Japan and developed by Hitachi Power Solutions while the Regional Resource Center for Asia and Pacific Region of the Asian Institute of Technology serve as the regional service provider that is responsible for promoting and providing trainings of the web tool. Flood S is an interactive friendly platform that users can learn directly from the interface of the platform with complete step-by-step -step user guide for anyone that wants to obtain results from the platform. An integrated operational manual directly built into the web interface. Flood simulation requires huge amounts of computational capabilities considering all factors contributing to the behavior of flood water over land surface. A great challenge to local communities, especially in developing countries. This technological gap allows vulnerable communities to suffer with uncertainties brought about by climate extremes. To alleviate this technological gap, Flood S Web Tool considers modern space technology and data. First is the use of Dio Vista as the cloud simulator. Dio Vista, developed by Hitachi Power Solutions, is widely used by Japan by several companies to simulate floods, which gives high efficiency that is necessary to mitigate flooding. Dio Vista simulates flooding in a very short of time, allowing Flood S tool users sufficient data for a very short of time. Credit to the technology called Dynamic Domain Defining Method, or Dynamic DDM. The Dynamic DDM is responsible for speeding up the flood simulation process. Second is the preloaded topographic data. The most important data and information needed in flood simulation is the need for the Digital Elevation Model, or DEM. There are two types of digital elevation used by Flood S tool on which both are preloaded. The first DEM that the tool has been allocating is the Merit DEM that is available globally by combining multiple satellite observation data. It is produced by the University of Tokyo. The Merit DEM has a spatial resolution of 90 meters. The second DEM preloaded by the tool is the AW3D provided by RESTEC and NTT data which is categorized by world-class high resolution and high positional accuracy with a spatial resolution of two meters. The latter were used in eight cities that suffered from flood damage in recent years. These are Pakse in Laos, Manila in the Philippines, Kolkata in India, Kathmandu in Nepal, Chattogram in Bangladesh, Chiang Mai in Thailand, Wei in Vietnam, 
and Shah Alam in Malaysia. The use of AW3D with such highly accurate DEM data contributes to the accuracy of simulation results. FloodS is divided into two modes. One is called the viewer mode, which allows the user to see the results of several simulations, while the other mode, called in the other hand, as the simulator mode, that lets the user to choose his or her location across the globe. While viewer mode allows all users to review simulation results that are publicly available, simulator mode allows only registered users to perform simulations. All interested individuals are welcome to apply for an account by sending the necessary information to the service provider, AITRRCAP, as follows. Name of user, the country or address of the user, the organization affiliated with the user, the purpose of using the platform, the email address that will be used as the username of the account. This information must be sent to the email address of the service provider, elearning at rrcap.ait.ac.th. Now let's dig down into the different modes of the web tool. Going through the viewer mode. FloodS, a web-based flood simulation software, has made it possible to view simulation results of several major metropolitan regions across the Asia and Pacific region and other countries. FloodS can be used not only to predict flood inundation, but also to study countermeasures. High resolution topographic data is available for areas such as Hue in Vietnam, Chiang Mai in Thailand, Manila in the Philippines, Kolkata in India, and Kathmandu in Nepal, allowing for a more detailed study. This will help city authorities and disaster management teams prepare for possible flooding impacts in the city. With this tool, decision makers can develop proactive measures and employ effective strategies to mitigate the damage caused by flooding. In viewer mode, users can review the pre-selected simulation in various cities by first in the home page by clicking the simulator button. The interface will move automatically to viewer mode. In this web page, the user can choose from the country region drop-down menu for the selected location to review. Result Name drop-down. Menu lets the user review the available result provided by the platform. Under the Content drop-down menu, two available results have been provided. The Flood Depth Animation, that lets the user observe the behavior of the flood water over an area, while the Maximum Flood Depth lets the user view the maximum flood depth in every location in the city. For the benefit of everybody, let's review one of the cities that is available for review. The project was simulated in Manila, the capital city of the Philippines. The time of the simulation used was 50 hours, while the resolution used in the flood simulation was 25 meters, which used the AW3D DEM. The conditions used is the discharge of the river. The flood animation offers a very important feature, giving the detailed change of flood extent and depth over time that is very helpful in timely response. The web tool also provides the maximum flood depth that can be reviewed by clicking the icon that provides the graph of depth over time this information is crucial in flood inundation for a timely response and adaptation planning, revealing the places that are highly vulnerable that may help to alleviate casualties, reducing the socioeconomic damage on properties and also lives. Simulation Mode When it comes to flood management, having a tool that can accurately simulate flood patterns is a valuable asset for any city planner. With the Flood S Simulator view, users are given the ability to recreate flood scenarios for any city of their choice. By specifying coordinates for inundated areas, as well as the depth and volume of water, users can run simulations to observe how different areas would be affected during a flood event. The results of these simulations can be invaluable, not only for city planners and engineers, but also for stakeholders such as emergency services, local residents, and business owners. With the ability to easily share results, the Flood S tool can help communities prepare and respond to flood events efficiently. As discussed before, the simulation mode requires registration. Registration is an easy process. Send the details needed by the service provider and they will provide the sign-in credentials. The credentials will be used to fully acquire the features of the simulation mode. The simulation mode is performed in three steps. One, setting project information. Two, setting conditions. And three, the simulations. One, setting project information. In setting project information, the user selects this button in the project area on the left to display the project list. Under the project list, the user can select and simulate a new project or can interact with the existing project, if the user has already simulated one. Other options for existing projects include copy and delete projects. Under the project button, this button allows users to import existing project, 
The feature of the web tool to allow collaborative efforts between individuals and organizations without compromising one's registered account. 2. Simulation Conditions Under this step, the Flood S web tool allows users to choose the area's conditions. Two conditions to choose, according to the availability of ground data, the flood depth, or flood flows, in the setting, the flood, flood depth, or flood flows conditions in the conditions area on the left. The following three operations are used to set the conditions. First is to select the Set button for Flood Depth or Flood Flows condition. Second is to select the setting location on the map. And third is to enter the attribute information of the condition. The user can check the aerial satellite photo of the selected area by selecting this button. The area will be viewed displayed on Google Maps in separate window. To elaborate these conditions, Flood Flows and Flood Depth are the two conditions offered by Flood S Web Tool. Flood depth condition specifies how high from the ground the area was flooding at the location specified on the map. The simulation will require water level observation data that includes water level in terms of depth and period. If these two parameters are not available, the simulation assumes several cases that will be performed to determine the extent of inundation. In the example, a maximum of 0.8 meters flood depth and that the areas were inundated for three hours. On the other hand, the flood flows condition sets the condition of how much water was flowing at the specified location on the map. This requires flow observations such as river discharge or river overflowing discharge. If these are not available, several simulation cases will be performed to determine the extent of inundation. In the example, the location of the levee break point and the flow rate estimated by the survey are set. The assumed settings for the simulation were discussed in the built-in user guide. Furthermore, the web tool provides valuable information according to the global climate model. River information was provided in cubic per second. The river valuable data will pop out as the user will click this button. One of the recent additional features of the web tool is the inclusion of two major contributors of world's devastating flooding events that cause life and economic loss, rainfall and storm surges. The rainfall condition sets the condition for rainfall within the specified range. It is possible to simulate flooding that occurs when water accumulates in low-lying areas and cannot be drained. Users need to set the rainfall amount and rainfall time. Users can simulate flooding caused by short-term heavy rains that occur in urban areas on the plains. Rainfall conditions allow users to simulate local situations, taking into consideration selected rainfall events in specific areas. The Flood S tool allows users to view and simulate climate change projection of rainfall in the area according to the global climate model. In the example below, the area has a rainfall of 122 millimeters per hour. And in the case of rainfall in the place, this rainfall may last from several hours to several days continuously. The information from GCM is available from this button that gives the rainfall information in across the globe. The user may follow the information provided or they may project other scenarios according to actual measurements. The second helpful condition is the surge condition. Surge is an abnormal rise of sea surface caused by atmospheric forcing, including wind stress and atmospheric pressure associated with cyclones and storms. It can have a catastrophic effect on coastal regions, leading to loss of life and significant damage. The surge condition automatically or manually creates a shoreline and sets the water level condition on that shoreline. By setting the wave height, it is possible to simulate flooding in low-lying areas on the land side. The information to be set is tide level and time, based on local information. Automatic shoreline extraction uses topographic data to extract the boundary line between sea and land. When creating a shoreline manually, the user can check the map and set the location. Once completed with the conditions, the third procedure in the simulation function will take place. The Flood S web tool provides simulation for the provided condition simulation, both the extent and depth with respect to time. The simulation requires inputs as follows. The name of the simulation, this will help to distinguish between various simulation scenarios. The time, indicates the time the user would like to run the flood simulation in the selected area. The resolution represents the spatial resolution with three choices, according to what is available in the chosen location. 5 and 25 meters used in the AW3D, while the 100 meters used in Merit DEM. The user can also choose the condition of use if the simulation has several conditions. After these required inputs, can now simulate the flood inundation. Once the simulation starts, the user can check the status of the calculations. Several tags will be displayed in the simulation. These are waiting list tags means the calculations process is waiting for one which the server allows five simulations at the same time 
Running tag indicates that calculations is in progress. Succeeding tag indicates that calculation is successfully completed. Suspended tag tells that the state of calculations is suspended. And error tag indicates that the state of calculation having an error. During the simulation, inundated areas are displayed on the map in different colors corresponding to the given legend found at the right of the window interface. Afterwards, users can view the results below the interface. The results of the simulation can be viewed on the map by selecting this button to see the maximum inundation area and depth. The results of the simulation can be displayed in a graph by selecting this button and clicking on the point of the map where the user wants to click the results. The results of the simulation can be viewed by selecting the button and clicking on a location on the map to view the graph. The simulation result can also be shared with anyone the user wishes to share it and can be downloaded for more interactive flooding mapping. The share and download buttons can be found next to the name of the simulation results under the simulation section. As mentioned, flood S simulation results allow users to share their results to other users. This feature gives everyone the opportunity to participate in flood inundation that can enhance government adaptation to climate extremes, particularly floods. Flood S also allows users to download the results, interact more. The download button automatically downloads results in KMZ file, which can be directly viewed to Google Earth Pro. Google Earth Pro must be installed on the user's PC to follow the clip provided. The search function allows the users to view simulation results that are shared only with registered users. Initial data is available for simulation results of sample scenarios in eight publicly available cities. This available data can be downloaded in KML file format while calculation conditions can be downloaded and imported using the project import function. Floodwater Countermeasure Assessment One of the beneficial features of Flood S is the simulation of countermeasures. At the time of writing, two countermeasure infrastructures are available, embankment and tunnel. These two common countermeasure infrastructures are the two most common infrastructures that are built across cities. Using the Flood S, the establishment of new embankment or tunnel or the assessment of existing embankment or tunnel can simulate the impact in the area. The embankment condition can be set as a condition to complement the topography. Simulation results will vary depending on the meaning of the specified height. The accuracy of the inundation simulation is improved by correcting to the current elevation. The simulation results of countermeasures can be obtained by correcting for future heights. For the settings, the user can enter the elevation information and width of the area clicked on the map. For the width information, the width must be greater than the resolution condition as a simulation constraint. In the example, the height information of the levy is entered. Details on the assumed settings of this countermeasure can be found in the user settings. The tunnel condition is set up in the same way as embankment as a condition to compensate for terrain. The setting allows the user to enter the width and height information of the tunnel and the width must be smaller than the resolution condition as a constraint of the simulation. In the example, the width and height information of waterways is entered. Furthermore, Flood S allow an interactive user experience with additional features navigating the availability of higher resolution for simulation. The first additional function is the inclusion of the two base map in accordance with user's preferences the open street map and the open topographic base map. Open street map, OSM, includes extensive mapping data about roads, buildings, land use, and other geographical features. It is essential information for flood simulation for it provides highly accurate terrain data. Open topo map includes topographic data with detailed up-to-date contour lines and terrain information that is essential input data for flood models. It visualizes the elevation of the specific areas that is critical in flood mapping. Another feature of the web tool that is essential for the accuracy of user's output is the availability of highly digital elevation model. The button for checking the availability of AW3D is recently added. AW3D is one of the three technologies that Flood S is using to provide the highest possible flood simulation. It is a high precision topographic data with a resolution of 2.5 meters provided by RESTEC and NTT data in some areas. Unfortunately, the technology is not available for other areas. Overall, Flood S Web Tool is a user friendly cloud based application designed to simulate flood inundation across the globe. Flood S flood inundation results allow collaborative efforts between stakeholders for timely response to flooding, efficient simulation results, allowing to have a comprehensive adaptation and mitigation planning process while increasing effectiveness of countermeasures 
by simulating the impact of flood control infrastructures. Thank you.